Minnesota's governor has made his official budget recommendations following a forecast earlier this month that shows an upcoming numbers crunch. KGTC's Quinn Gorham breaks down the numbers in Walls' latest proposal and tells us where the biggest investments lie. After last year's budget surplus yielded a record amount of legislation that seemed like Minnesota's lawmakers would never slow down. This year, though, the threat of a looming imbalance in the state budget has Governor Tim Walls and Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan slowing things down on several new proposals. This is not the year for sweeping and expansive change, and that's okay because that's exactly what a bonding year should look like. Walls proposed his 2024 supplemental budget on Wednesday, one that dials back spending but still commits to a few key areas. The things we're prioritizing are, are fall into about three buckets here. Safe communities, clean drinking water, and support for children and family. Going piece by piece, Walls hopes to invest more money in clean water in the state's upcoming bonding bill. That bill is currently projected at $989 million. And funding for in-home water treatment, well replacement, and other services to deal with the issues of nitrates in drinking waters and other contaminants. The Walls administration also committed to more money for child welfare. The final investment comes in the form of $10 million to help aid the growing EMS funding gap in the state. We'll be providing support for emergency medical services across the state that we've seen over the years. This is an issue that goes back, and some of the rules written around it go back to the 1980s and have been problematic since then. Walls' recommendation, just a fraction of what Iron Range lawmakers proposed last month at $120 million. State Senator Grant Housechild said while the investment isn't nearly enough, it's important to have the money in the budget plan at all. Republican Senator Andrew Lang called the price tag laughable in his own statement. Walls knows it's not enough, but believes it can make an impact at a reasonable price tag. These are the ones that are in the most critical positions right now. We can deliver for that. And again, I would make the case is what we're putting up is a big piece of the entire supplemental budget. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Walls' proposal is a starting point for discussions with legislative leaders, and the final investments will likely change as the session advances.